Brian, yeah. I had like a question for her, but I don't know if I could like ask her right now. What me? Well, no, for uh. you, because you had said that after this, um, he was saying, "Oh, I hope that like I could change any of your minds," and you were like, "Oh, this actually made me want to become like <laughs> want, makes me want to do OnlyFans." Uh. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> like after this conversation, you want to do OnlyFans? I think it was a joke. Yeah. Yeah, it was, was somewhat it? a joke, but it's like she's oh. she's really good. I know. Wise girls are confident. They got money. Confident. They got money. money. Oh, like, do your thing. How could don't let anyone stop you? I could work a nine to five now. and have a career yeah. and have an OF. Yeah. If yeah. I wasn't Still with the person, I think it gets tricky whenever you try to mix like certain careers with OnlyFans. I think it's mm-hmm. glamorized it's a lot yeah. as well. I don't think it's for everybody. I definitely you you have to weigh the the trade-offs if mm-hmm. look i i understand the appeal well, okay like yeah, i understand the appeal can I say something Wait. she can work a nine to five right she can make that money save up maybe use that money to buy a new apartment have a nicer like well yeah um, but a lot of girls stuff think they can join Wait, and just and let, make go money. ahead continue cindy go ahead she can have like she can buy her own like new apartment new studio where she can make those only fans content more and um, everything is about consistency. Everything is about putting your heart and soul into something, and that's what's gonna come out. Yeah. That's good. So if you're if you want to do a business, you gotta put your heart and soul. You gotta invest in yourself. So if you're not doing that, then it's not gonna work in your favor. I'm not trying to say that like yeah. people that are right now in their house, not where they are, like. They may not be even in the nicest apartment. Does not mean that you cannot make it. I was making, I was making content on an iPhone. I was, I did not have money. I was grinding on TikTok for so long, build my fan base, and that's how I got to have this privilege to do what I do now. Because I manifested mm-hmm. this lifestyle. And that's beautiful. Yeah, it's but beautiful. I also think a lot of girls. And God think, too. Oh, let me just do OnlyFans. Like I'll make a bunch of money, and like it's so easy. But then, uh, then I've seen a lot of girls start an OnlyFans, be consistent, and do everything that everyone else is doing, and fail and not make yeah. money. Yeah, I think like the social media behind instant. it is like yeah. a big it's, part. Yeah, of it could take you years to make yeah. uh, even as much as you're making on a regular nine to five yeah it's not i think a lot of people think you like make the yeah, account like, and you're like you, rich. exactly you post like, like one no. thing and then doom like you're well yeah rich. that's the other thing that's like not it at all. the upside is you can make a fuck ton of money yeah. but there's a chance that you don't you succeed don't. and you make an average amount of money or yeah. even like very yeah. little and so then you have that on your name and then yeah. that's out there forever yeah. exactly. but uh i mean i understand the appeal because like hmm can i do this kind of degenerate thing for a couple years and make a fuck ton of money and then I can retire early and not because I fucking get it like slaving away at some fucking corporate office job sucks the soul out of you like it's most people are not going to be the reality is when it comes to what you do for work you're probably you're not going to have a career you're going to have a job it's going to be like not something that's particularly fulfilling you're going to be making a fuck ton of money probably for somebody else or not even you're going to be doing some like kind of lame job and um you're just going to be a wage slave and just being a corporate drone and okay i'm gonna work until i'm 65 and i'm nine to five for all i get it i fucking get it but what you do also have to ask yourself what is the trade-off so that's why i started doing youtube fuck that shit (laughs) <laughs> I ain't doing no fucking corporate. Do you think you experience trouble in relationships with what you do? Uh, I mean, I've said it before on the podcast. There's certainly women that wouldn't want to date me because of what I do. Mm-hmm. I think one of the differences, though, is like, and I, I don't know if we really got into this, but like, there's definitely girls who do OF and it's like, no, it's not going to hurt my chances at all. Well, okay, it's definitely going to close the door to some guys. And I view like me doing this, having one, just even if my shit was totally tame, and this is a controversial show, even if I was totally tame, like family friendly content, there's definitely girls out there that would not wanna be involved with that sort of public social media content life. Mm-hmm. They, they might be more private, they don't want that level of attention on them. Mm-hmm. Like even like family friendly people got stalkers and like all kinds of weird shit going on. So, um, but add on top of that, the fact that this is a controversial show, we talk about culture war stuff, we talk about politics, I have like, 
semi-toxic. I'm semi-toxic or whatever, so. I don't think I'm that bad, but um, uh, yeah, like there's definitely girls that would not want to date me, so. But I, I'm not like, I accept that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Just like I guess we could say the same mm -hmm. thing then. Yeah. yeah, the difference, it's, dif it's, there's different. A, it's a little different. Yeah. It's a it little is. different because like I'm not saying what I'm doing is like I'm, I'm perfectly insulated from like any bullshittery or criticism or like, you know, me being out there in the public sphere can have, you know, various, I mean, I, there's a lot of pros to what I do, but there's definitely mm -hmm. cons also. So, yeah. um, but I, if a girl doesn't want to date me because I'm out there in the public ether, that's no problem whatsoever. That's totally fine. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but it's probably also opened up doors too. So mm -hmm. I suppose you might be even be able to say that about you doing OnlyFans, like maybe. I, really? I, I, I personally, know. I think it has just because like open the, the doors network. dating wise, though, like, I mean, um, I know you're out there. So like dudes yeah. are like sliding into potentially, your DMs. Yeah, more so, um, more so in, I mean, what I would seek in a guy, guys who are in a high position in like, um, like connected to social media, not doing OnlyFans, but like only fans management related or like agency related you know i yeah. think one they're accepting of that and two well, of course. like of course you they know, want to pimp find you out of course people in that and people with guys you're saying with only fans managers who have who stand to profit would like date you of course they would date you because they no. want to pimp you out no yeah i mean I mean, have you dated not, a guy? Have you dated a guy no. who did OF management? No, I haven't. Yeah, he, I was just, I was just saying, like, I feel like that would like open I almost the door. Feel not you specifically, be, but like anybody, like in social media, like I feel well, like it opens sure, that sure, up. Sure, sure, sure. But I feel like you gotta be as a girl, accepting. you'd have to be cautious of a guy who's 100. Who like if you started dating him and he's like, let me manage you. Like, are his are his intentions? Yeah, that's not. Are his that's intentions like saying. he genuinely likes you and maybe right. like, or does he want? Is he? wants that money yeah no a hundred percent there's a lot um, of like, I, I didn't i wasn't like saying it but like yeah that. that is something to be careful of um 